today on 15 on 15. Aruba signs a memorandum of understanding with the St. Mary's College in Maryland. And these are the hottest events of this summer. Thank you for joining us on another edition of 15 on 15 right here on Channel 15 ATV with Danielle Piazzi. Let's get started with our latest local news topics. This week, the Minister of Education, Michelle Hoibu Winkler, signed a memorandum of understanding with St. Mary's College of Maryland, giving Aruba students yet more affordable options when considering higher education. St. Mary's College of Maryland and the Ministry of Education and Family Policy, Aruba, announced this week together with the Ministry of Education the signing of an agreement enabling to 21st year and transfer Aruban students to enroll at the St. Mary's College for the 2016-2017 school year. St. Mary's College of Maryland, established in 1840, is an American public and co-educational four-year liberal arts college located in St. Mary's City of Maryland. It is a public honors college, a state-supported college that offers an experience similar to the ones of an elite liberal arts college. With about 1,800 enrolled students, the institute offers bachelor degrees in 24 disciplines as well as masters in teaching. The term of the agreement continues until May 15th of 2015, with extension presumed to be approved. The agreement being signed today is the first such agreement ever undertaken between the College of St. Mary's College of Maryland and an entire nation. This agreement will create an opportunity for bright and talented students from Aruba to enroll in a high quality educational experience that St. Mary's College provides. One of the top priorities in our new strategic plan focuses on offering all students a well-rounded and global experience here at our college. This agreement will help build our enrollment of international students who will benefit from being at St. Mary's College. And our students will benefit from the diversity and unique views the international students bring to the campus. The community will benefit from this diversity as well. Moving forward, as the situation in Venezuela worsens by the day, the governor of the state of Táchira has brought a new angle on the country's food shortage, and this time blaming Aruba and Curaçao for their misfortunes. Here's the story. José Gregorio Vielma Mora, former general who is now the governor of Venezuelan state Táchira, is indirectly accusing Curaçao and Aruba for contributing to the shortage of food in Venezuela. According to the retrieved general tons of illegal products like vegetables, fruits, and fish, these products are being exported to some islands in the Caribbean, particularly Curaçao and Aruba, said this retired general. Governor Viela Mora indicated during an interview that he has instructed the Venezuelan consuls on these islands to explain to the authorities that these contrabands are harmful for Venezuela. The governor also informed that there are legal exports taking place from his state of Tachira to Curaçao and Aruban markets. He spoke of products like cheese, coffee, potatoes, carrots, and fruits that are being exported by 39 companies that have permits. He did not give more details about the companies with permits to export. These declarations from the governor were met with heavy criticism from the opposition parties in the Venezuelan parliament. These parties say that this is another lie from the government party to cover the truth about what is happening in Venezuela. We'll be back with more English news right here on Channel 15 ATV after a quick commercial break. On another note, shocking surveillance footage went viral this week, showing the unbelievable moment a man tried to drag a teen girl away from her mother as they shopped in a Florida store. However, the girl's mother chased the kidnapper through the aisles in a frantic bid to get their daughter back. Check it out. Police say this man tried to kidnap a 13-year-old girl in broad daylight. The 30-year-old man saw a mother and daughter shopping when he allegedly tried to drag the girl out of this dollar store. That's when the girl's mother is seen springing into action, leaping on top of her daughter. The man soon gave up and ran out the door. And to his surprise, he ran into an off-duty car. Prior to this incident, the suspect was not listed as a sex offender. Police are still investigating what the man's motives were. He is charged with child abuse and kidnapping. We'll 
be back with more English news right here on Channel 15 ATV after a word from one of our sponsors. After the break, these are the top events to attend this summer. Thank you for staying with us right here on Channel 15 ATV. And to close out the show on a lighter note, during the month of June and July, many locals decide to take the summer to travel abroad. But if you happen to stay here on the island, there are a variety of fun-filled activities and events going on throughout the hot summer days. From festivals, races, and family-friendly activities, this summer does not have to be a boring one. Throughout the summer months of June and July, Aruba will be hosting a variety of events for every personality. Starting off on June 26th, for the athletes on the island, the Aruba International Triathlon will be taking place. International competitors participate in a triathlon compromise of 1.5 km swim, 40 km bike race, and a 10 km run. Beginners can test their endurance in the triathlon of a 750 meter swim, 20 km bike, and 5 km run. Beginning at Eagle Beach, the event is planned on a safe and closed circuit. More than 100 athletes are expected to participate in this event, hosted by the Aruba Triathlon Association. Next, during the month of June, the Summer Beach Festival will be hosted right here on the Happy Island. The Aruba Music Festival headlines with Aruba winning musicians and the best local DJs and bands. This three-day event takes place at Aruba's Harbor Square Arena and delivers spectacular performances to thousands of locals and tourists. As we move into July, for the beach and sports fans, the Highwinds International Competition will be held at Fisherman's Hut this year. Aruba Highwinds introduces fun and action. The races expected are semi-long distance race for kite juniors, kite freestyle windsurfing slalom races, windsurfing freestyle competitions, kiteboarding, and windsurfing long distance races. Besides the kite and windsurfing races, there are daily happy hours and live entertainment during this weekend. And to close off the season, the Aruba Love Festival will be held at the end of July. This is three stages, 50 DJs from eight countries for two whole days. The event is all about unity, peace, and love on the beach. The perfect combination. Thank you so much for watching. These were your local news updates and trending Aruba topics. Be sure to like our 15 on 15 Facebook and Instagram page for all of your latest news updates. Also, don't forget to tune back in tomorrow night at 7.15pm for more 15 on 15 right here on Channel 15 ATV. See you then.